What is happening? It's, I'm just gonna take it off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we. I'm glad we have that. By oh, the it's, way. <laughs> it's still recording. <laughs> Drew gets the They're title. Not He's not being Brock moment. over time. He's not moving in four and five minutes. <laughs> He's not, He's not going. Up? He's not putting on a material for us. Oh! <laughs> He's not. Putting... <laughs> Someone take over. I can't. I can't. I have... want people to know, like I did in Mexico and in Puerto Rico. I want people to realize that this is not a green screen. Look. No. This, look, no. I can walk. Look. Look. Yeah. yeah. I can walk. Look. You see? Look. look. It's not a green screen, people. It's not a green screen. Guy. Right. Don't go over the edge, Ray. We need you. We need you to no, get no. shape in a couple weeks, man. Uh, yes. How are you? Oh no, they don't want to see me. Please, yeah, yeah I'm please. Beat him up or something. Uh, I'm, I'm a little. I'm a little intimidated. I've seen. I've seen you in the ring. You do some crazy stuff. Say, yeah. No, no choke bombs tonight for you. Oh, okay. I mean, there's a table Maybe right tomorrow, here. Yeah. Tonight. Maybe tomorrow. We'll yeah. Be El mundo. No, no, you gonna play? Shut your mouth. You gonna play? Before I bust you. And uh, Mike, buddy. If you are joining this panel, I just want to say, I think I have you beat this time. See, you won't be Mr. Perfect no more. You will just be, well, a loser. Go ahead. Go ahead. I disagree. They're on different brands. How is this going to continue? Oh, and they never go to the other brand ever. Roman Reigns was never on Raw last week. Um, excuse me, you're, you're not going to have, no, they're not going to do title for title again. Becky's it's, but it's go not do, title, it, this and, is not title for title, is it? No, but one champion's versus another champion, and Becky already has a number one contender and has a storyline waiting for her after this. This is a one and done, hasta la vista, Charlotte, get your shit together and go to AEW. Like, drop the title, wow. let's go. Well, thank you so much for taking a few yes, minutes. Yes, thank you so much, This is fun. Um, this is know, the fun part of wrestling. Dude, Mike, I love this game. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you're yeah, saying yeah. Like, why don't people just, like, wrestling know, is supposed lot, to be fun. A, a lot of people don't oh, like man. doing interviews. I'm sitting I here drinking a beer. Yeah. I would have probably got fired for this somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> but um, I'm going to say Cameron Grimes takes that million-dollar belt. There it is. I'm going to be heavyweight champion and more promotions than Kenny Omega. I'm telling you that right now. I'm coming for it all. All those top dogs out there when it comes to Monster Mac, Darius Carter. Yeah, you know me. I know you. We've been looking at each other. So what you waiting for, Darius? How about someone book it? TJ Marconi. I'm going to smack you upside your mouth come December 4th. Everyone knows it. Kylon, all those guys up there in Connecticut. I done smacked all their teeth out their mouth. Masha Slamovich, you, we done came up together. We trained at Gleason's. You don't want none of this fucking smoke. You don't want it. Everyone knows it. We could have been wrestling at each other in every one of these promotions. Everyone's ducking me because they know I'm the guy that's going to take their spots. And in 2022, it's inevitable, TJ. It's inevitable to every single one of you. I'm coming for what's mine and no one's going to stop me. Bobby Fish, he's the new guy coming in and I'm the new guy coming in, so... Why not? He might show up with the TNT title, too. That's what I, I was just saying. Say. Sammy, we got, we right got across Sammy the Guevara way from us with the oh, yeah. TNT title. Bobby I see Fish. him. Yeah, I you see him. him. Oh, he's the gold. Oh, it's happening. Look at him with the gold. It's happening right <laughs> so now. So proud of him. So I'm going to make this happen. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the forbidden door is open. It is. I believe yeah, just Bobby saying. is going to be taking on Sammy. Very uh, excited I think it's signed for, for this Wednesday. Yep. Casey, your thoughts on possibly being able to compete for the TNT championship. Hey, listen. Sammy Guevara is the man. Uh, I love Sammy. Some would say a god. And yeah, he's quite the Spanish god. Yeah. Uh, but man, that title is beautiful. Just looking at it. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, seeing it in person, it's like. Yeah, I've never seen it. It is a really like nice that. title. Well, though. actually, I'm lying. I saw it when it was red. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, but yeah. It, in black, it's very, very nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but man, that'd be such an awesome opportunity. I would love that. You know, wrestling's changing, it's so different now. And. Everybody gets an opportunity everywhere. And Which is hopefully, amazing. Hopefully, uh, me and Sammy will cross paths while I still got that title. This story with Hangman Adam Page and the AEW world title has been in existence for nearly three years. Yeah. 
in January 2019, he said, I am going to be the AEW world champion. And that story, that title has haunted him ever since. The pressure of him trying to beat Chris Jericho, the continuous losing that he had, then having to form a team with Kenny, his drinking, his anxiety and depression about uh, letting people that he loved the most down, not being able to accept love and uh, appreciation from new fr- from friends. That is a storyline that I um, I um, relate to more than anyone could ever imagine. And for me to you have this uh, hope uh, heaped upon you, and you fail, and you keep failing, and then you try and rebuild it, and people tell you you're great, and you don't believe it because you don't believe in yourself. It's very uh, relatable to a lot of people. Yeah, I don't like, really I'll is. say this. Again. It really is. I'll relate it to myself. I'm not going to speak for anyone else on the podcast. That you're going to feel like you're not worth it. You're not worthy. You don't deserve the friendship of anyone or the attention of anyone. And then finally, one day, somehow, some way, you accept it and you move forward. And that's when and everything changes. That's exactly. When shit changes. And that's cowboy shit right there. Damn right it is. Oh, wow. You damn yeah, right it is. Yeah. That's the emotional moment that has to happen. <laughs> He's getting squashed and he was the undefeated, you know, NXT champion. And now he's part of demolition. Um, so demolition crops. Like, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> here, comes the yeah. and here comes the cross. He's but demolition. Like, <laughs> but you he's wearing leather. Have. It's really weird now. Don't really get it. That's the sound. Bite. Where the hell is Scarlet? She got yeah, exactly. over. Sorry, I, I can keep going. It's but. okay. I was actually getting worse as the days went by. Um, got put on a ventilator in the whole nine yards, and then um, was actually told by the doctor. Doctor came in surrounded by nurses, and I had never like you, you see this. You see this type of stuff on TV, like when you watch movies or like you watch ER or one of those shows or whatever. Um, so the doctor comes in. Four nur- four nurses with him, and they're like, um, "Yeah, we 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 don't think you're gonna make it. We're gonna prepare you to be comfortable on your on your way out." And I hear that, and I'm just like, "Oh my gosh, was any of your family with you at that point?" Or no, they couldn't uh, be. They couldn't be. Yeah, at that time, nobody can visit the hospital. Oh. And like, I can't talk because I have these tubes down my throat. So I vivid. I don't know why I vividly remember this, but. Tears just started, and I can't weep, but tears just start running down my face. And in my mind, I'm like, this is it, you know? So over the next day, I'm just, in my mind, I'm like, you know, I, I could go any minute now. So I, in my mind, and I'm I'm, a very, I'm not the most religious person in the world by by any means, but in my mind, I'm, I'm talking to God, you know, hoping that uh, when I get to the gates, I get let in. And yeah. um, they yeah. even told me that um, they they reached out to my mom to tell her to tell her to start making arrangements, meaning you know start yeah. planning. Oh, oh my god! Yeah, start yeah, start planning a funeral, this, that, and a third. And then two days later, I just by some miracle started getting better. That even the doctors themselves were confused. So yeah, man, it was it. And I, that experience still sticks with me, and I still think about it every day only because I was told to my face by medical professionals that I was going to die. 
Uh, we've had events like NWA and Power. Um, we see Maria coming into ROH, giving so many ladies on the independence uh, that we know and love opportunity. Um, talk to us about Women's Division Wednesdays. Talk to us about working mm -hmm. with the likes of the first lady of professional wrestling, uh, Miss Maria Canellis. Uh, the women's division and ring of honor really, truly is amazing. Um, that's one of the hardest things for me right now about like this hiatus, yeah. like ring of honor, everything is just like <sighs> the women's division and ring of honor has been through so much and like so much before I even stepped in there. I mean, when I came in, really, there wasn't even a women's division anymore. And wasn't for a while. So having Maria and Bobby Cruz, um, he's kind of like, you know, obviously let, let's Maria be the face, but he does so much for the women's division too. And uh, the two of them really were the ones that brought it back. And they built such a great locker room. Uh, really every single woman there that's been there is amazing. And, you know, great to work with, not selfish, you know, like with all the matches, like we're all there to like put each other over and, you know, make the best wrestling possible. And I think, you know, having, I, I'm just so grateful to have a good locker room, um, really and truly like that. It's been so great to just have like, cool people like chill people like very good to you hear know, very little drama you know if any like i can't even like think of any like recently um but just you know supportive um and then you make the best matches and the fans get the most out of it hey vicky 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 we gotta go the virtual signing start let's go vicky vicky we gotta go come on let's go come on vicky um uh, vicky might want to look behind you. Damn. And I stand by what I said. I was expecting, um, I was expecting like the wrecking ball of Gursky's, the Alpha Juniors, the, 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 Steve Max, the the Danny Moffs, and uh, the those kind of big presence that I got there, and it's a lot of little guys, and I was like, "I'll eat." Wow, I'll eat. Do you feel that gives you an advantage in the Rumble? Uh, Johnny, obviously, trying to be a heavy favorite. We saw that stellar promo between him and Mac, who you didn't mention you have a relationship with. We'll be talking with him next week. But your thoughts going into the Rumble? My thoughts going into the rumble at this point, I'm going to do as much damage as possible. And yeah. the Mount Olympus is on November 20th. Smash is on November 21st. Oh boy. If you think I'm not going to take advantage of an opportunity to beat the living tar out of Johnny Moran a little bit early. Oh, you're silly. Call him. Johnny Two Belt as he points to the sky. Johnny Moran has climbed to the top of Mount Olympus and slayed the monster at the top. The Dark Horse has once again become the White Knight of Titan Championship Wrestling. 